2021 SB Live Washington Virtual Media Day. Can't do them in person this year, so they're all through Zoom. I'm Dan Dickow alongside Andy Bueller, connecting with boys and girls programs from across the state today with one of the Metro League contenders out of the Seattle area, led by head coach Dom Brooks and unbelievable point guard Julian Augusto of Nathan Hale. Guys, thanks for joining. I'll start with you, coach. You guys get to play. And you've gotten started before a lot of other places across the state. Um, how do you like the way your team's playing right now? Uh, I just love being in the gym, getting back with the guys. Uh, the energy and enthusiasm every day is just exciting to come into, especially with a short season. Uh, so many guys have so much to prove as players, and so many guys want to show that they've been proved as a player. And so it's just been fun just getting re back with the guys overall. Julian, you've uh, put together a, a tremendous start to the season. Uh, a number of 25, 30 point games. You control the game with your speed. Uh, your shooting looks like it's improved from all indications and talking to people. Um, how did you get and stay ready in the off season with limited opportunities due to COVID? Man, Coach Dom has been a tremendous help for me on and off the court. Um, throughout the off season, we've just been putting in work outside, wherever we can, outdoor courts, um, in the garage, lifting, all of that. That's doing as much as we can while, even though our resources are limited. Julian, I remember talking to you last summer uh, when you know you were still trying to navigate all that. Uh, here you are all these months later, the season's been delayed, it's a shortened season, um, but you come out last week and you drop 38, you, you look like you're playing with something to prove, is that right? Yeah, you know, I've, uh, we haven't been able to play, so I haven't really been able to showcase what I can do throughout this corona and all of that, so it's, it's pretty important that I get out there and, and just play with a chip on my shoulder every time I step on the court playing a little bit more above the rim this year. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I've been working on the bounce. Yes, sir. Dom, you're in a unique position in Seattle basketball because you're a head coach at Nathan Hale, but you're also well-connected with Seattle Rotary and coaching some of their, their programs. Uh, how is that in, in regards to helping young kids get opportunities? Uh, because you can talk to college coaches as both an AAU coach but also as a high school coach, you see them in both platforms. Uh, I think that's kind of gives me the opportunity to see kids, how they work at an individual basis and, and in a showcase basis at the AAU level. Uh, but then it's great to be able to see kids in a team setting and in a high school setting where they're asked to be a leader. They're asked to be a catalyst to a club. They're asked to be a vocal point and not just on a weekend and weekend basis, but on a day to day basis. And I think that's really where we get to see uh, where players are really at. And, and that's how I'm able to kind of be honest with college coaches and navigate kids to the right situations to benefit the future. Fully, and there's uh, a big time tradition of guards out of the Seattle area. Uh, and a lot of those guards come back in the summers and mentor and work with the younger group that's coming up. Uh, who has really kind of helped you um, develop and work on your game? Um, my, my older cousin, Jay Sean Augusto, he pushes me. He's a, the ultimate competitor. There's, I don't know anybody that's as competitive as him. So he, he's always coming around, challenging me one-on-one, -on -one, shooting contests, everything he can. He's, he's helped me elevate my game to a completely different level just by him being as competitive as he is and as good as he is. So I, I've talked to a coach in the past and he, he says every year, like he really owes it to his seniors to be able to make sure that not only they're showcasing their, the best side of their game at the high school level, but that he's helping get them opportunities at the next level. Yeah. Uh, for you, you know, you had a big junior season, you're showing out your senior year and, you know, colleges have to know who you are at this point, uh, you know, despite uh, all the setbacks, how is your recruitment going and how has it been navigating that, that process throughout all this? Um, it's starting to pick back up again. Like during Corona, it, was, it slowed down because of we've been not able to play and coaches want to see you play. You know, being an undersized guard is talk only goes as far as it can. You know, they want to see in person. So it's been starting to pick back up, though, because Dom has been uh, getting my name out there to a lot of coaches and really helping on that end. 
Well, Leon, I got to ask you this, and I, it's going to be a similar question that I've asked a lot of the student athletes. Uh, you or one of your teammates makes a mistake, a bad turnover that probably should have been avoided, maybe a, a, a bad shot. What reaction does Coach Dom make that you know that you're in for it at the next time out or dead ball? You're either coming out or you're hearing an earful. What's his reaction? He, just, he, he has this look. Like, you always know when he's about to say something to you. It's always going to be my fault, of course, because I'm the point guard. And he has this look that he gives you. It's this, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's every single time. I always look over because I know it's coming. <laughs> Can we see that look real quick, Coach? Hey, hey, no, nah, that's, a, that's a game time look. <laughs> I don't even know if I have that look rehearsed. I just, I just get to it. I just get to it. Something's got to get me there for that look. Favorite shoe to hoop in of all time? Kobe's. Kobe's, they're the lightest. Yeah. And for me, you guys, I'm going to say that he got games. <laughs> I gotta go with the patent leather Jordans. The patent leather Jordans in my opinion. Yeah. So, um, and how about favorite sports movie? And then we'll let you guys get going. The uh, it's an Allen Iverson documentary. I'm trying to remember the name of it. I think it's called AI or something like that. Good choices. And, and for me, I grew up in that era just like you, Dan. It's the blue chips. Yeah, that's the first time I've heard a coach or a player mention that one. Penny Hardaway, Shaquille O'Neal to mention a couple in that movie. Good call. So, uh, Coach Dom, Julian, appreciate your guys' time. I wish you guys nothing but the best of health and luck as you finish the Metro League season and you guys head to a condensed playoff. So, uh, best of luck. Continued progress on the recruiting front. Thanks for joining Andy Bueller and myself for the virtual media days for SB Live Washington. Thanks for having us. Hey, thanks for having us. Go Raiders.